Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. I finally got my transfer into Douala and that took a number of days. Once I received my money and as I said before I'm just transferring a token amount I left a dollar in Douala and transferred 99 to Mt. Gox. So after the Douala account received the money, I immediately transferred the money to Mt. Gox. It took a couple of hours, so the transfer into Douala from your bank is an interminable wait. <laughs> but the uh, transfer from Douala to Mt. Gox is pretty short, just a few hours. So my money's there, I'm ready to trade, and uh, it's time to just look at the technicals and decide whether it's time to trade or not. So let's jump over to the charts and I wanted to review some of the technicals I've started using and if you remember you have to load the Sierra chart feed which is this file it's an executable file and it just goes back to the uh, Mt. Gox site and pulls the prices and if you don't understand how to read this, it's pretty simple. It's just the uh, date and timestamp, the price, and the number of uh, bitcoins that are traded at that price. So this is the feed that gives the information to this Sierra chart to show you what you're looking at. Now, I wanted to cover the indicators I've isolated and again I'm still just playing with this so it's just a, a test scenario and I'm still playing with the indicators in the Sierra chart software but I wanted to show you the ones I've chosen now I'll start with F5 so if you've downloaded this and started the Mt. Gox feed and I put that link in my older videos so go back to those if you want to find that but the uh, function key you want to use first is F5 and the key thing you want to do is put in all the time frame for all prices and then the other thing you want to do is well I do is put it to candlesticks and then you apply that and then on F6 the indicators I've isolated are the first one is the stochastics crossover system the second is the MACD volume weighted and the other is the volume by price so let me explain those to you real quick this information over here is volume by price so as opposed to a normal volume system you don't have these lines down at the bottom you actually get your volume on the side and the ones that go the farthest over such as this one right here you can see this gray line comes all the way over and terminates at about 20 this is your greatest volume so that's that indicator now I'm working on combining all three indicators to get some kind of trading system for the Bitcoin which by the way I want to mentioned that in my opinion the Bitcoin is a fantastic market first of all because it trades 24-7 365 and if you've gone to my silver channel or some other bullion channels you'll know that bullion is a very restricted market it really only trades in the Anglo-American Empire there's the LBMA in London, there's the COMEX in America, and there's also the market in Japan. But other than that, there really isn't a market that trades regularly for those metals. Now, there are for currencies, but the currencies are a whole other ball game. They're really, they're all weighted against each other, and they're, in my opinion, they're all junk. So... I'm not really interested in trying to do yen carry trades and yuan carry trades and franc carry trades. It's not, uh, I don't consider them anything really valuable, but 
the Bitcoin is something different, unique, new, and very interesting. So that's why I'm doing this analysis. So anyway, that indicator over here, this is the volume indicator. I'm going to leave this here. That's the one I'm going to use. Now, there are two other indicators we're using. One is the MACD, and it is MACD volume weighted. So it is a normal MACD crossover. That's the one down here. And the third indicator is the vol uh, I'm sorry, the stochastic crossover system. So if you look on the chart, these little arrows that you see here, sell, 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 buy, sell, 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 buy, buy. So that's the uh, stochastic system, and I'm trying to combine these to get some kind of signal generating system to, along with trend lines, of course, to give me an indication when to get in, in other words, trade dollars for bitcoins, and when to get out, trade bitcoins for dollars and try to multiply the number of bitcoins I have because obviously I believe in bitcoins so my goal is to accumulate as many bitcoins as I can by using the Mt. Gox count so I wanted to move through the time frames on this on these indicators to show the relative merit in the time frame. So let's jump out real quick to the daily. And you can see on the daily chart I've drawn a number of trend lines but we also have the other indicators and so let's look at the first indicator which is the volume by price now the first two things that jump out at you is the largest volume by price is one the two dollar volume and two the six dollar volume now if you correspond them with time you can see we had a breakout here at two dollars that was never corrected and then the next one we have is a breakout that was corrected and then rose so these are the two biggest periods of volume we had now the next biggest volume period we had was right about here at about 20 and that corresponds with the sell-off we're in right now so that's the volume by price the next indicator is the MACD and you can see on the daily the MACD has crossed over and is bearish so we've crossed over with volume and we're going down. Now the last indicator is the stochastic buy sell indicator and if you look at it you can see there's a number of things that stand out. First of all you got your first buy at about what is this about 60 cents or so can't really tell from a chart but you can see that you got one buy and then sell, 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 sell again. Another sell, another sell, and another sell. So <laughs> the last buy you ever had was at 60 cents. So what that tells you is that is not robust enough of an indicator it doesn't at the one day time frame there's no useful information for example if you look at this breakout that we had here and let me draw the trend line I'll try I'll draw it flat but you could draw it like that so we'll just leave it there you didn't have a buy signal on the greatest breakout we had so obviously you have to discard the one day if you're using this indicator and the reason is it's not robust enough so 
Once we discard the one day, then we have to go down to our daily intraday bar periods. And I'm going to jump right to it because I don't have time, but through testing of previous historical prices and breakouts, I found that the most reliable period for that indicator is the three hour time frame. So we're going to jump to that and look at what we have at this point. Now you can see it's very active. It gave cells and then a lot of cells. We got a buy here that failed. We got a buy there that failed. We got a buy there that failed. So and now just to look at the recent time frame we've got a buy and a buy so we're still on buys so that indicator is still not generating the kind of signals we want to see and uh, I'm not in a position to make a decision based on these three indicators where we are so I'm gonna back out one more and go to the four hour and try to reduce these number of signals try to get a better indication now these become more accurate on the stochastic but they're inconclusive on the MACD and the volume we're not sure so examining this and understanding that I'm trying to break into the market and find a spot to buy we've got a missed buy signal here and good sells here sell 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 you would have rounded off the top now you didn't get a buy until here and that failed but you got a very good buy there got some good sells another sell and we're now standing on two buys so to sum up to combine these three indicators and as someone who's looking to get in and buy bitcoins before the rise I'm going to say that this chart is the best chart I have and I'm looking for one another buy to come in here or a cross on this trend line or a cross on this MACD if I see this rally continue through 17 then I will buy if I see this fail down below these lines and the MACD continue down and a sell generated here then obviously I won't buy so I'm currently on a buy I'm waiting for a trend line to be broken and I'm waiting for a MACD crossover and at that point I'll probably purchase my bitcoins and we'll wait and see if I am right or wrong and we'll talk to you next time